For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, July 26th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're following at this hour. New statistics show that Vermont finished the last fiscal year with a general fund budget surplus of $58.4 million. The June revenues released Thursday by the Agency of Administration says the general fund surplus for the year was just over 4.5% above forecasts. For the 2019 fiscal year, which ended June 30th, the general fund collected about $1.3 billion. The results were driven by collections in personal and corporate income taxes. The separate education fund was just over $500,000 above expectations, while the transportation fund was $3.4 million below target. The EPA has endorsed a new clean water funding law in Vermont that shifts money from existing taxes and funds to clean water investments. It comes amid high-profile beach closures in a new government report questioning the efficiency of lake cleanup efforts. The goal for the clean water budget by 2021 is $32.9 million. After years of debate, lawmakers approved long-term funding to support Vermont's comprehensive clean water plan. Former University of Vermont women's basketball coach Kathy Inglis died Wednesday, a week after suffering a brain injury in a fall. She was 60 years old. The announcement was made by Nancy Inglis, Kathy's sister, in a Facebook post. Inglis coached the Catamounts from 1986 to 1993. During her time at UVM, she led the program to a 120 and 74 record and was named America East Coach of the Year three times. Under Inglis, the Catamounts won their first two conference titles and made their inaugural trips to the NCAA tournament in 1992 and 1993. A group of senators says it has a plan to reduce insulin prices with legislation intended to hold pharmaceutical companies and insurance companies more accountable. The proposal is called the Insulin Price Reduction Act, and its sponsors say it would incentivize reductions in list prices. The senators say in a statement plan it would hold healthcare middlemen, such as pharmacy benefit managers, accountable. WTSA Sports. Xander Bogart hit a three-run homer in a seven-run first inning and then added a solo shot in the eighth. The Boston Red Sox put a historic 19-3 pounding on the American League East leading Yankees Thursday night at Fenway. Bogarts was 4 for 6 on the night with four runs batted in. The teams play again tonight. Andrew Kashner on the mound for Boston. James Paxton on the mound for New York. First pitch at Fenway. Yankees and Sox this evening is at 7:10. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, July 26th, my name is Ian Kelly.